Good morning guys, it's about 1.40am and we've arrived at the Natrang train station ready to head up the coast for 13 and a half hours towards the where. Uh, we've arrived 40 minutes before our train and uh, the platform's still closed so they must wait a little bit until the train gets closer before they let you out on the platform. Sort of sitting here in a waiting room in the middle of the night, waiting for a train to come. Okay, so they just called our train here in our train. We've uh, crossed the lines and now we're waiting on platform three for our train to come. Happy, Becky? Very happy. Happy, Marley? I want to sleep. Will I? Happy? No, not at all. <laughs> Why are we working out? Will I need some sleep? Okay, so this is it for the next 13 hours. We're in, a couple of beds, window, say hi. Hi. Suitcases go up there, climb up to the top bunk with the little foot peg right there, and we're in. Smile. Okay, so we're off and moving. Bye bye Na Trang. Okay, so we're about four hours in. Uh, we're in Quay Non. We've got another nine hours to go. Gotta say, pretty uncomfortable journey. Beds are hard. Train rattles a lot, makes a lot of noise. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? It's all about the experience and we will survive. Me and Rebecca were just talking about it and what what you hear a lot is, or what you don't actually hear, you hear people who say, oh, I get on the train and I go to sleep and I wake up, but what they don't actually tell you is how rough and bumpy the trip actually is. You know, it's just banging along continuously, everything's shaking, everything's rattling the whole way along. Um, it's really not that comfortable. It's great for an experience, but look, you know, four hours in, I could be just feeling a bit grumpy, but, uh, I'm saying I probably certainly wouldn't do it again. In all reality, we didn't have a great deal of options for Nha Trang to get to Wei. We either had to fly all the way back to Ho Chi Minh City or fly to Hanoi and then catch a, another train. I'm oh, sorry, another plane. So you'll find an old hot water machine at the end of the hall to heat noodles. This is the quality of toilet you're going to find on board. Um, I've seen worse toilets in Asia, so in that retrospect it's not too bad place to have a wash. So in the cold light of day, this is what a room actually looks like. You've got a light switch, you've got a USB down there, there's air conditioning in here, pillows, blankets, there's room up top, there's extra blankets to keep you warm. You get up on top bunk by jumping on this thing, your door may or may lock, depending. Ok 
Okay, so this is the state of affairs in cabin number 27, 28, 29, 25. Good morning. Guten Morgen. Good morning. Into the journey. Okay, so we've arrived in Da Nang, which is the stop for Hawaii. So, I'm not quite sure how it's another four hours to get there, but we'll see what happens, I think. We've stayed in Da Nang before, actually. We spent a fair bit of time in Da Nang. Um, on our last journey here in 2019, really enjoyed it. Actually came here twice. Spent a total of nearly three weeks hanging out in Da Nang, so it was a really good city, close to the beach, uh, close to Hoi An, central to everything. Okay, Wild, so we made it. We made it. We made it. Woohoo!